Welcome to Frog Fell Holler, y'all. I'm Michael, my nephew Colton behind the camera today. And I have a problem. Now see, I have some plants I wanna step up right here. These are my tomato plants and I'm wanting to step up my heirloom cherry tomatoes today. And well, I'm out of cups. I'm out of bigger cups to step them up in. So, what do I do? Well, I could go to the Dollar Tree and pray that they have some starter cups or bigger cups and hope to get some of those. Or I can go to Lowe's and Home Depot and, well, pay through the nose for what I need. Now, let's say all I have in my pocket is $20. And with that $20, I got to buy a lot of cups. Now, see, Lowe's and Home Depot, it's going to cost you that $20 to get about 20 cups. Let's say I need more than that. Let's say I need 50, 60, 70, 80, 100. Can I hear 200? Yep, I'm even talking about 200, y'all. See, if I'm at Lowe's and I have $20 in my pocket and I need a whole heap load of cups, y'all, you know what I'm going to pick up? Nope, I ain't picking up cups. I'm picking up a roll of brown paper. Y'all want to find out what I'm going to do with it? Walk over here. A roll of paper? Seriously? A roll of paper. This is what I'm going to pick up to plant, step up plants in. <gasps> yes. See, with this roll of paper and this jar, just about everybody has this jar. Just about. You can do this right here. Ain't this so pretty? Now, this is one of my black zebra cherry tomato plants. And this is the cup I made for it out of the brown paper. See? Now, with these, I'm going to put them in this little container right here and put them in nice and tight and then water them in this right here. Yes, the brown paper will start getting weak over time, but I should be able to plant the cup and everything in the hole. Should be. Don't know for sure. So for $20, I can do 280 cups out of this brown roll. See, Home Depot sells one that is 2.9 inches long. Wow, that is wrong, y'all. Two feet, nine inches long. There we go, that's a lot better. Two feet, nine inches long, and a long this way, y'all. And then 140 feet this way. Oops. Let's try this again. It's 140 feet this way. So the way I do it is I cut six inch strips out of there, just like I have right here. And if you take six inch strips, you can get two cups per foot, which means out of 140 feet, you end up with 280 cups for less than $20. Guys, can't beat that none. All right, so I am going to be using my trusty popsicle method of marking them and be putting them in here. But let me show you how we're doing this before we go to super frog mode. Now see, we already got a few of these strips cut. Now again, six inches this way and it's just that long. Sorry, you can't do nothing about that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take and fold one half of this, this right here, about an inch. Don't have to be exactly an inch, but close to it, just like this. Doo -doo -doo. See this? See this? See this? I am so good, y'all. Look at that. Oops, I messed up. So you brag on yourself, and I end up messing up. All right. So make that fold nice and crisp because you're going to want that here in a few minutes. Now, here's a trick. You unfold it. <gasps> you unfold it, oh my goodness. Okay, now that you got that done, you place your jar right here to where the lip is right there, see? Right at the edge. And then you take and you roll the jar with the paper. Ah, the weird called it. With the paper, nice and tight. Just like this, y'all. Just like this. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. 
Roll it all the way up. Now see, this gives you several layers of protection through the, see, several layers. So that way it takes a while for the water to seep through and cause it to deteriorate. Now here's the trick of it and the most aggravating part. You got to fold this part while holding this part and holding this. So my suggestion, do a little cussing under your breath. Don't say it out loud, y'all. Do a little cussing. Get this jar, push it up some in here, just like this. Now, some jars are longer, so if you benefit, there you go. And you want this first fold to go no more than half that jar. See, just like that. All right, now you do a second fold, just like that. Now remember, you gotta keep that jar nice and tight in there. If not, it's gonna cause problems. You fold it over like that. Then you fold it over like that. And then you crink, crink, I don't know if that's a word, crink. But you crease these edges, crink the edges, nice and tight, and pull the jar out. You're done. No, you're not, not quite. Now, remember that fold you did earlier? What you wanna do is take that fold and push it in like this. This is what actually holds the cup together. Now this can take a little bit of time to get used to and figure out how to do it. But it folds over real easy if you got that original fold nice and tight. And voila, you now have a cup. Now, if you go and set this cup down, what is it gonna do? It's gonna do that. So what you need to do is go ahead and pick what tomato you plant you want or other plant. Now, I'm doing the black zebras right now, and I'm going to pick my very best one. Let's go with this one. Ah, it's a tomato plant. All right, now I'm going to come over here to my dirt. Now, see, this is actually dirt from my garden that I'm going to be planting in. So I'm getting the tomatoes used to that dirt. And I'm going to get the stick out, and I'm going to put a little dirt in the bottom right there and create a nice little hole right there. And I'm going to put this plant down in there just like this. And then I'm going to take some dirt and fill in that side. And I'm going to take some dirt and fill in that side. And I'm just going to go around just like this. Trying not to cover my tomato plant completely. And I'm going to pack around the edges. Remember, you got to be very careful when doing this because it's easy to break these young plants. But, you can also shake the cup a little bit to help you out. Oh, I covered my plant. George covered his plant. Okay. Now, a little bit more dirt. A little bit more dirt. Now remember, tomato plants, you can bury them deeper because they will grow taller. They like to be buried deep. Just got to make sure those top leaves are showing. I'm going to pack it in a little bit. Now, as this thing grows up, I can put a little bit more dirt in there if I want to. But this is all this one's going to take. Now, I have my trusty popsicle sticks. I'm going to put it in like this. And in it goes like this. Just like this, y'all. Well, it can be like this. It can be like this. But it goes in just like that. Fill them nice and tight. And you want a container like this, so that way you can water them and they can have a little bit of water in the bottom. And that way the cardboard don't try to break free from itself. So try to fit, get a container that is the same size of what you're actually wanting or the amount that you're wanting. So we got six black zebra plants to do. Well, four more. And we got six sun gold cherry tomato plants to do. And we're gonna be doing that in super frog mode. He, I love super frog mode. All right guys, let's get to hopping. So guys, for under $20, you can make 280 
of these paper cups. That's a lot of cups. Most people will not need 280 cups. I hope I don't. That's going to be a lot of folding. But it is a cheap way to upstep your plants. Now, I'm going to move this one real carefully. As you can see, I've already watered this. And the weight of the dirt will actually keep it in. But if you, don't, if you move it around too much, this cardboard will just break out. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like wet all the way through and I'm keeping my hand in the bottom so that way it don't fall out and that's the reason why it's important to keep them kind of tight against each other because it actually helps support them now y'all saw that we used our own dirt to do the transplanting we didn't buy any miracle Grow dirt or any of the other store-bought dirts the reason being even though the those typically add or help with nutrients I'm upstepping with these with my dirt because of the fact that it gets the roots used to growing through my soil and there's no nutrients benefits but i can make up with that with miracle grow fertilizer and stuff but the roots itself will not suffer as big of a transplant shock from being transplanted from soil like miracle grow into our sandy soil when i go ahead and do it this way so that's why i did it it works for me now, it may not work for you, or you have, may have found a better way, or you might have seen other channels that do it different ways. There are thousands of different ways to do the exact same thing. The key of it is, find what works for you and what works best for you. Now, this was just a little hack that I thought y'all might be interested in, using this paper to create the cups. I could have gotten some more cups, I just didn't want to. This is all I needed to transplant and I had this paper on standby, so it works for me. Now we're gonna go put this up and put a mini greenhouse, which is basically dumping this out, rinsing it out and putting it over the top of my plants. Because for some odd, stupid reason, we're supposed to have a cold front coming in. Guess this is gonna be one fun year in growing. That's all I can say. Hey guys, this has been Michael with Frogfoot Hotler. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. And hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe if you ain't subscribed. And share. I appreciate all the sharing y'all do. Hey guys, y'all have a froggy day. Yeah, I got paper. <laughs> you gotta stop rolling. Are you still rolling? <laughs>